They were standing at the finish line, cheering on others when the bombs went off. Two strangers whose lives were about to intersect. And I realized by looking down at my legs, I couldn't see them. And my bones were laying next to me on the sidewalk. I completely blacked out and fell backwards. And I just remember myself slipping away. Part of Erica Branick's left leg had been blown off and her right leg was broken. Rebecca Gregory was seriously hurt too. Her left leg was mangled. In the chaos of it all, strangers helped get both Erica and Rebecca into an ambulance. The first time they were likely together, but not the last. Do you remember being in the same ambulance? We didn't know that it was each other, um, but I remember hearing, we have two criticals, we have one amputee. Um, and we've talked things through um, little by little and remember hearing the same things. I think you had told me that you thought it was you that mm -hmm. was the amputee because looking down at her legs, she had seen her bones. They were taken to the same hospital. Erica has had 21 surgeries and lost the lower part of her left leg. Doctors operated on Rebecca 17 times. She finally chose to have her lower left leg amputated last November, penning this breakup letter to her leg, suggesting the relationship had become a real burden, and telling her leg, it's not you, it's me. They found strength in each other from the first day they met. You know, just be able to sit and hold her hand and, you know, she's really real. So it's nice to be, you know, in the city that brought us together. It was just that connection because this is somebody that's gone through the same thing. And it was a promise that we were going to be there for each other. And it was a promise kept after they both left the hospital. A promise and a friendship. Erica went to visit Rebecca in Texas last September. Well, we got pedicures. <laughs> yeah, um, that might surprise a lot of people. <laughs> right. <laughs> we went and bought um, canvas shoes from Hobby Lobby. <laughs> and this was her sister's idea. And we painted them and, with acrylic paint and put all kinds of designs on them and stuff. And then we ended up um, switching our left shoes. So we each have the other person's left shoe. And we have our own right shoe. Last year, they both returned to Boston for a special tribute walk. I was in such a state of limbo, um, but it was so healing to be able to cross the finish line, even in a wheelchair, and, and take back that part of our life that we had left there. And to do it with Erica and, you know, to be holding her hand. And at one point, she pushed me. She actually pushed me across the finish line. Um, that was that was a pretty incredible moment. Both have grown stronger over the last couple of years. Erica is now living on her own, driving, and enjoying her new kitten. Rebecca is hoping to inspire others. She even ran the last three miles of the marathon this year. Oh, the race was intense today. Nothing could have prepared me for just the weather and the swelling of my leg and just everything kind of working against me but I, I had to cross the finish line, it, I just had to. Neither spends too much time thinking about the past or the sole surviving bomber. And despite what they've lost, they are both so thankful for what they found. Do you feel stronger? Oh yeah, um, without a doubt. I mean, there's, there's parts about me that I never realized that I had. And you actually say you feel blessed. Absolutely. I mean. I'm totally blessed. My child was sitting on my feet at the time the bomb went off, and the fact that he's here and running around, um, I can't feel sorry for myself for one second. You know, I don't know why um, his life was spared. I don't know why I was spared. You know what he tried to destroy, he didn't, and he, he made everyone stronger as a result.